Um, when we were out at, uh, at Fresno, I really enjoyed the student athletes. They really came together. They looked like a unit. We, we uh, had some really good energy on the pool deck, which is what we talked about from day one, about trying to make sure that we're there swimming for each other. Um, and so from, from, from the overall standpoint, we did a great job of using it as a training weekend. And we, we swam a lot on Saturday, um, not only at the meet, but warming up and, and making sure we're prepared. So all in all, it was a great step forward from our previous, previous meet um, at, at San Diego State um, and that relay meet and University of San Diego when we had a dual meet against them. So we saw some big big improvements um, not only in the pool but on the pool deck is which for us is where we start we talk about our team culture being first so uh, were there any pleasant surprises from the team or any individuals at the meet um, across the board I mean we we were talking to our student athletes often about okay what's your game plan for this this race or this event and we saw a great job of our student athletes saying, this is what I've been working on. This is what I want to do at the meet or at that event or that, that race. And they, they, they performed it. So they executed very, very well. Um, as, far as, as far as people that, that got up and swam really well, um, the one that, that stands out, you know, again, she's already hitting best times, is uh, Kiana Fontaine. She did a great job. Um, and was was stepping up in racing, um, you know, Cal and San Diego State and some of those bigger name programs that have historically been at NCAA's. So, you know, but I don't want to just highlight one person. I mean, you can look at our milers. They did a great job of executing a game plan from, you know, from Ryan, you know, to, to Mia, to um, Sam, you know, and then you can talk about our 400 Imers. They did a great job. And, you know, our freshman class is stepping up. I mean, across the board, we see really good things. Um, and so, it get, for us, again, it gets back to the daily focus of getting 1% better. And if you're doing that each and every day, every meet gonna, gonna is going to be going the right direction. Um, you were talking about some really good competition, and you have some very good competition coming up with the reigning national champions and then the Mountain West conference champions. Um, how do you prepare for meets like that with the team? Well, again, we get back to the fundamentals about trying to get 1% better, uh, just focusing on our lanes. Because, look, we can't control what other teams are doing. We can just focus on what we're doing to prepare for each and every day. And so for us, seeing the national championship come to – national champions come to town – um, you know, it's just a, for us another dual meet, another another day to to practice all the little things we're, we're, we're doing in the pool to see if we can execute them at, at a meet. And so, you know, having two really really good squads come to town, I think is obviously going to help our student athletes prepare for Pac-12s. And and again, we're going to hopefully see some changes um, to our lineup which we've changed our lineup every single meet we've been in, and we're going to continue to change it. So people aren't seeing the same events. Um, but also so we can see, okay, who's emerging in different events that we might need that we might need some help in. So for us, it's just preparing the same way. It doesn't matter if we're swimming the national champions or the, you know, the Mountain West Conference champions. For us, we're going to keep doing the same thing every day. Do you have any specific expectations or goals for the, these two meets? Absolutely. I want to see our, our team get up and race. I want to see good, great energy on the pool deck, and I want to see, um, see how we handle adversity at home, you know, when our backs are against the wall because they'll, they'll be against the wall. Um, how do we respond if, you know, a team comes in and, and, and continues to rack up a couple, couple wins in different events? How do our girls respond? And so for us, again, it's just going to get back to trying to make sure we're preparing the right way. So. And then um, have you heard anything about the Gibb Pool atmosphere? What are you expecting from that? I'm, I mean, I'm excited. Um, you know, when we swim Boise State, that's our breast cancer awareness meet. So we're going to be wearing some pink, uh, which we're excited about, and hopefully throwing some things out, some T-shirts out in the stands. But uh, – I've heard it gets loud. I've heard when the drum line shows up, which we're, we're hoping they can, they can come in and, and kind of spark some of the crowd and, and just be loud and, and be proud. And so um, not only will you see our fans getting up and being loud, but you'll see, you'll see all the Cougars on the pool deck standing and cheering because that's, for me, that's what it's all about. It's about our team and about the people in the water. Um, so we want to be loud just like we want our fans to be loud. So it should be fun.